Hi, everybody. Welcome to the February 14th, 15th uh, Chaos Metrics model meeting. It's good to see everybody. Uh, I am going to share my screen. And um, the minutes are in the chat. Elizabeth if, or Sean, if somebody else shows up, can you just drop them in there? Yeah. For other folks, if you could add your name, that would be great. Um, I was talking briefly with Yahui about uh, a potential time change for this, and um, it's only just to help everybody. <laughs> so um, I know that it's quite early in China, and it gets to be fairly like it's seven o'clock in the evening for Elizabeth. So the the proposal would be to to just shift it to 8 a.m. U.S. Central or even 7 a.m. U.S. Central could work. Yeah, I can do either of those times. Is 8 o'clock a doable time for you? <laughs> She's not that jumping hurts. on it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expect me to be like showered and ready. Remember, cameras are optional. Cameras <laughs> will be off, yes. <laughs> I don't know how Yahoi and and Liang Jun, y'all look so fresh and awake at seven a.m. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> <laughs> but so, it, but, but I, I like this proposal because to, uh, right now it's still the winter time uh, time for uh, for U.S. Central. Yeah, so uh, maybe next month or later, it yeah, sure. uh, should yeah, step yeah. in the summertime. Spring and uh, and we have to wake up. So in in China, our meeting will be held on uh, seven and a.m. clock. So it's yes. kind of it's kind of early for us because really <laughs> for early. me, I have to um, take take the taxi to take take taxi to 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 the company and, okay. uh, and attend the meeting. So what if we did eight a.m. U.S. Central? Eight eight um. I think that's what time is it in China? I think it's that would be nine p.m. for you. I think nine. That would be totally fine for for me actually. Uh, what yeah, what about you be... and and uh, yeah. I'm I'm good with nine p.m. So eight. Yeah, that great. time sounds good. Sounds great. This sounds this sounds like an easy. <laughs> Easy, yeah. I'll take, like, I'll take the easy button. Yeah, yeah. It, it's more easier than 8 a.m. Great. Oh, well, this is like the best time change ever. It's great when everybody <laughs> <Yeah>. agrees. <laughs> everybody loves the time change. All right. Yeah. And so then the question would be is there a, a day that works? Because 8 a.m. is a pretty good time for me any day of the week. Mm -hmm. is, there a, is there a day, Yahui, June? I mean, that would, is there a day that would be best for you? I'm totally fine for the weekday. Okay. What about okay. June and uh, and and uh, and Liang? I'm also good with the uh, work days. So okay, so Monday, like so, like Tuesday or Wednesday, would that be okay? Yeah, I was gonna say those are good days for me. Okay. So Tuesday, well, I'll send a note to the channel, and we'll, I'll just kind of finalize that. But it sounds like. 8 a.m. U.S. Central, 9 p.m. China, Tuesday or Wednesday could work for people. We do have the badging um, meeting oh, at yeah. 9.30s, but we could maybe do off weeks if we do want to do Wednesday. We just need to yeah. Okay. Adjust. Yeah, okay. So it sounds like either of these would work for folks in China. Elizabeth, you and I can just kind of, we'll sort it out with the calendar and send it out to the channel and everybody. Yeah. Okay. All right, yay, thanks everybody. That's great. I think that helps everybody a lot. I think it's really good for June. You're still in Bali, right, June? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Say it. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth has already admitted she'll be in pajamas potentially. So <laughs> it's completely acceptable. All right, great. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, we'll just like yeah, I no, send out, yeah, we'll send out the updates for everybody. Um, all right, so then I, the next thing I wanted to to kind of do is I do want to spend a little bit of time on this um, just to thank Elizabeth for all of her work, yeah, in getting this all done. Um, so 
for those of you that didn't know, like two weeks ago, I think we had one metric model released. Is that correct, Elizabeth? Yes. Officially. Yes. Elizabeth so. spent a lot of time really kind of going through this spreadsheet, correct? So correct me if I'm wrong. Correct. And just kind of coordinating everything that we kind of claim to have ready for release and took the time to to really make sure they're available on the website and that all the links to the metrics are clean and working and all that kind of stuff. So thank you a lot, Elizabeth. Yes, thank you You're so welcome. much. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> and so that was, I know that was a lot of work. I. I think I saw maybe 150 pull requests come across one day. Yeah. I feel bad too because a review is required to merge. Yeah. So somebody had to review. So sorry, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Yehoi, for reviewing and Matt too. That, that's fine. Uh, I, I got one question. How, how do you get that solid number for, for each single page uh, uh, of the metric and metrics model? I, I, I saw you change a lot of uh, uh, the URL. Oh, the you're talking about the the yeah numeric. If you want to talk a little bit yeah. about that, yeah. So we've been trying to when we reference other metrics, keep that um, the URL, yeah, yeah uh, it, with the number because we do change the names of metrics sometimes, and so we That's don't want that link to break. So uh -huh. we decided to try to keep what if we're referencing things across, you know, each other, and we're also going to put at the bottom of every metric. Okay. If you're re referencing this in a in software or wherever, use this link instead. Yeah. So how how do we get this new number if we set up a new metric or metrics model? That is an excellent question, and we won't have that number until it's published. So uh -huh. it's like we'll publish it, we'll get the number, we'll have to make the change. Okay. And so will yeah. they will we reach out to you, Elizabeth? Like yes. How, how do you get the number? Is it via it's in WordPress? WordPress? Um, mm -hmm. It's whatever page ID WordPress assigns to it. So I just go in WordPress and you can see I can see what the number okay. is. So there's no like anyway, there's a single point person for getting that number. Who yeah. is I mean anybody that has WordPress access can see it, but it's a little confusing. So I'm happy to just be that person. <laughs> Just to be keep it simple, it's fine. Are we going to add that, for example, here as well? Well, that's a question. Um, we absolutely could. I think we should because, as we know, metrics model names change as we already changed one. So, um, okay. yeah, I can add that that statement at the bottom that says if you're referencing this metrics model, use this URL that and would have be the page great. number. Mm -hmm. okay. So then, if we could, do we just do? Can that just be handled via a PR? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, we should probably have those. We may as well. Yeah, just... I agree. I okay. agree. I, I wish I would have thought of that <laughs> before the meeting, but I didn't. So yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Can you and then... put it, or I'll put an action item for myself in there. Okay. So yeah, yeah let's, thank you. Let's do that. Um, and then also, Elizabeth. sorry, uh, can yeah. anyone share the minutes? Because I have the. Yes. Uh, oh, I'm doing it. Boom, you're done. Okay, there. thank you. Sure. Thanks, Benad. I didn't see you come in because we're sharing screens and people don't appear. I also wanted to, if we do have time, to look at that safety one because that one is very different than our template. And I, I think I feel like we talked about it, but I can't remember what we decided to do with that. Just kind of where we're at with that. Sure. Um, is there anything else on this, Elizabeth? I think we're all caught up outside of safety, I think. Yeah, and as we get some of the, because some of the metrics models don't have metrics defined yet for some of them. So as that happens, we'll try to kind of keep that in mind and try to make that link once those get released. Oh, oh they don't have the metrics. And I'll, we can right. talk about that. Okay. And then are all of these working? I believe, well, so yes. Yeah, so context, the, actually, this is my question. I should have asked, asked Kevin this. Um, so the context tags is really the topics so if you go back to um, just like the, yeah. So if you go back to the metrics and model, yeah. And then you click on a topic, right. that okay. metric model should show up there. Metric model, project mm -hmm. awareness. Okay. It's the, it's the keywords. I'm not sure where those actually go. There's think, a spot in WordPress that I think that's where they're supposed to go. I was just going to go check an old one, but okay. I didn't do that yet. So well, the I'll keywords would be like keyword here. 
blah, blah. There is a suggest. Can you hear me? There is a suggestion I have. If you go back to the metric again, like the, that one, uh, the model, sorry, the metric model. Uh, this one or any? Not, the, the no, no, the one you were showing previously, the first one. Sure. The uh, re recently released one. Uh, I think you had development responsiveness. Yes. Yeah, so uh, how, how about we highlight those as a, like the links back to those tags? Like we have a, if you scroll up, we have those co community software ecosystem. So we should have a link on the community software or ecosystem that points back to those areas. Aha, uh -huh. I'll call you a me. So yeah. it, it's kind yeah, of same for the keywords me. also. <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe maybe it's a it all the tags and the keywords can be clickable. So once you click one keywords, you can you can find out all the related uh, yeah. metrics and metrics model. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's an interesting idea. Okay, um, maybe like let's maybe first thing let's get the static URL on there. Mm -hmm. and then maybe the next thing would be to like slowly but surely. Make sure the keywords are in the right place in WordPress. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, and then add links to all of those words and all yeah. of the metrics. That that will take some time, but I think yeah. it's a great idea, honestly. Yep. I like that too. Okay, great, thanks. Uh, um, is yeah. there a link to implement implement uh, part implement this uh, um, metric modules? Is there a link? To go to oh to the to the implementation implementation uh, um, metric module part we so order. you're talking, yeah. yeah like uh, if I was to come here in this website do we have a link yes to go Not to yet I think but but uh, I think that's a good question yeah that is a really good question so no we don't have that right now so basically. You're asking like this June, right? Yeah. So like if we have service and support, we have the, well, here we only have a definition, but for some we have. Maybe activity, community activity. Community activity. One. There we go. Yeah, that doesn't get linked anywhere. Correct. So we should, um, Elizabeth, I can help with this too, but like, for those that have the you must have dogs barking yeah <laughs> that would be my guess also i have guinea pigs squealing in the back over there but um yeah so we can add that that's a great idea june and then as those become available um do you all want to just open an issue or so tag me somewhere that Hey, there's a new implementation that needs to be added or how do we want to make that bridge how about how about in that model page we have an implementation section uh, if it is implemented uh, link to that implementation or it implementation once it's done or we can have some text that says implementation is not done yet once it's done we'll add the link over here i think we we discussed late discussed it a little bit before and uh, we can add one more section in each of single matrix model about the implementations yeah. and in this implementation we can add more tools or platform to support this matrix model implementations and yep. we can attach the link uh for uh for example auger uh grim lab or, K or compass yep we can we can attach mm -hmm. this uh, in a valid link and also, if we don't have it yet, like we not mentioned, we can mm -hmm. leave it, uh, I mean, empty yes. for now. So what if I put it, we could just add a section right before, right after metrics in the metrics model and right before data insights? Uh, or do you want yeah, to? Maybe after, um, maybe before, before, the, uh, before the data insights. Yeah, so like right here. Yeah. I yeah. think 
it would be the similarly like matrix format uh, template. Okay. Oh, you're already getting that. Okay, Elizabeth. It's already on top of it. Okay. And Elizabeth, you and I, like I said, these don't have to be all you. You and I can work together on this, and I can. Okay, I can, I, I can help on that. Okay, I can great. Help on that. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Any hands yeah, I, make light work, right? <laughs> yeah, and all. <laughs> okay. Um, no, thank you for pointing that out, June. We hadn't captured that. Okay, thank you, too. Thank you. All right, great. Um, okay, so I'm going to move on, if that's okay with people. It is. Um, wait, 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 before you do yes. that, sorry. Can you click on that safety metric? I just want to know what to do with uh -huh. that. Uh-huh. I, I saw YouTube is mentioned them a lot of times. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like uh -huh. really different than. Yeah. Yeah, I that's. I, th I think we, we need to rework it a little bit to follow the our mm -hmm. template. Yeah, here I'm hoping my name is not attached to it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Where's safety? Yeah, uh, in the uh, score up, I, I saw that. Yeah, the, the, it's the community safety. Uh, the community yeah. safety, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay, so wow. this we need to turn that back into in progress, probably. That, this is like, a, God, this gives me PTSD over some of the really complex value working groups. And this is the same here, too, correct? Yeah. To be fair, I think that was one of the very first ones we did. So we were kind of trying some different yeah. ideas. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. I think I think we um yeah, I guess we look, go, at look at Matt and I and Emma and Lucas <laughs> and Yahooey. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, who put this stuff together? This is un unwieldy. But look, 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 look. <laughs> My tricks. Oh, is that us moving it into new implementation? This is or already, new? We've done it. Oh. Somebody, so Somebody I'll fix it. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> probably you. I mean, it probably was you in in actuality. Awesome. If, if, in fact, you can see who owns the document. I don't have that. Was that, that that link's not in the notes? Is it? Probably chaos. Who owns it? But so I, I can see. take that. I, we just need to update the links. Uh, yeah, we can probably just get rid of the, this. Just like delete this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it will still be out there on GitHub on, on some old branch. So, yep. And, and so here we go. Yeah. I, I found them. You ask, and there you go. Oh, that is, that is <laughs> wild. Like clicking on this compared to what was there previously, it is wildly simpler. Yay, team. Good job. Good job, Matt. Thank you. Probably you. Maybe. Okay. So Elizabeth, you have that. Got it. Right on. Okay. Well, uh, look at that. I'll move this back just like that. <laughs> move it back to ready. Thanks for finding that. I totally missed that. That that was drop, there. So thank you. Drop down lists on <laughs> on spreadsheets are amazing. Aren't they great? Okay. Cool. Ah, now I'll move on. Uh, okay. So I just, I wanted to just ask the Compass team, I know that you have been doing some metric model validation work. I just wanted to allow you an opportunity to speak to that if you wanted to, no big deal. If you uh, I'm, I, I, I want to put uh, uh, the, first, uh, the one metrics model uh, proposed by Dawn. Oh, the safe, the yeah. starter one? Yeah, I'm waiting for that uh, uh, metrics model be, released or and 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 create a pull, uh, issue in compass okay. and I, I can i can trigger the following implementation in compass okay. i think, I think um, on the agenda yeah and i think don just finished up her comments today i think she had some formatting questions that kevin answered so i think we're good there mm -hmm. so okay i'll um probably first thing tomorrow morning i'll send that over if that works for you yeah, yeah. okay that'd be great because I, I, we already set up this metrics model lab ready okay, in yes. our test environment. Um, we are just waiting for uh, a new requirement from, okay. from chaos. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, yeah. uh, starter. 
And do you remember that, like last year or two, um, uh, when we know, like uh, like two years ago, almostly, uh, when we first set up our metrics model working group, we are talking about how to uh, uh, categorize all the metrics, different metrics into the different metrics model, and uh, and actually in our metrics model, we uh, live we think of that. So we are gonna uh, provide the different outer metrics in the metrics model and uh, let more people to select the different one. Uh, I mean, the outer yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, metrics in, into the new one, metric, into okay. the new metrics model. That would be flexible. And uh, to, yeah, when we, when we people create the new metrics model, uh, they can they can try try that before and to, to, to see how it works. So would it be kind of giving them a, a preliminary metrics model and then they can select yeah. the metrics they want to focus in on as part yeah. of that model? Yeah, we, may we, we would focus on the metrics provided by our chaos mm -hmm. and to let people to choose, okay, I would like to select uh, these three or four metrics and set up a new metrics model. And I can, I can, uh, we can, uh, they can um, try by themselves. So would it be, um, it sounds interesting. So like, would it be giving them, for example, this metrics model and they can pick whatever yeah. four metrics they would like as part of this model? Yeah, Is that yeah. Interesting, okay. Yeah, once it's done, I, I, I can demo to would the there, overview. Would there be a, an opportunity to just give people a set of metrics like not type just a blank set of all metrics and just see what people pull together and track that yeah i and um, you know uh for the one metrics model except for we select the multiple metrics and also yeah. we need uh, to <laughs> aggregate thing into the one metrics model you know yeah. get, get a final score but uh, we would provide a flexible way for that. For example, we provide some, uh, you know, uh, some out of box algorithm for mm -hmm. to uh, to calculate the final score. But uh, if you uh, want to apply uh, a new algorithm for that metrics model, uh, you can you can tell us. We can help you to implement it. That's or interesting. Or you can just try 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 the the, the out of box one. That's in, yeah. So you could try like one that we have prepared, or you could help prepare your own. And I think that'd be really interesting because it would be kind of another way to identify metrics models by just watching use processes. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. we would just yeah. kind of watch what people bring together consistently. Yeah. I mean, after after this month, maybe next month or next month earlier, mm -hmm. uh, in the compass we would provide more than twenty thousand. Uh, projects mostly on the GitHub is ready yeah. on the Compass, and uh, we have to we have already uh, uh, categorized thing into the into sixteen uh, uh, categorized, and you can select you can pick up some some specific uh, zoom uh, to try on your your own uh, metric uh, metrics model. Yeah, that would be interesting because it, it would be. What it would be interesting, at least if I'm understanding this right, is if if people consistently bring together like age of pull request, response time to an issue, commit like it's kind of four random what we would think of as random things, but people bring those four together consistently. I think it would make us kind of reflect on why are people bringing these four metrics together consistently. Yeah. And, it's yeah. a kind of a new way to identify metrics models, perhaps. From the ground up. Yeah, from the ground up without any real context on why people are doing it. We'd have to figure out that context, but that would be interesting. I bet we could hope... guess the context based on what they're looking at. We probably could guess it. And I think that would be interesting because it would be like a real world implementation yeah. of metrics models in practice. And I think, I mean, I think a lot of these metrics models you emerge from people using them. They're just people who are part of our organization as opposed to sure. people who are not. And that, that I think people who are not might have some interesting thoughts that we wouldn't come up with. 
Right, exactly, exactly. Because we kind of live in our own world sometimes. <laughs> chaos bubble. The chaos bubble. Interesting. That that sounds great, Yuhui. When that's mm-hmm. when that's uh, ready, I'd love to see it. Yep. Cool. Okay, great. Um, so m- moving on. Um, a couple things here. So, you know, I think I feel like with Elizabeth, you kind of doing that release, and now that we have safety, all good to go. It's like all purples are now, you know, basically released so we can actually update that. So the the next question I think for us is where do we want to focus next? You know, what are the metrics models that are interesting to us? And And on this spreadsheet, spreadsheet, we have have several that are already kind of moving along. Um, Interestingly, it's always funny to me I give the example of community welcoming this as a metric model often, and it's one that's not released. <laughs> so um, personally, I, I would like to work on community welcoming this, and we do have, it's fairly well along, and I thought maybe we could take a little look at this for a second. And then the other one is is community fatigue, which I don't talk about much, but I think it's a fairly interesting metric model and would resonate with a number of people. Mm-hmm. Um, so the question I have maybe on community welcoming this is generally speaking, we like to keep our metrics models smaller in terms yes. of the number of metrics, just so they're easy for people to kind of understand. So this and is we one can... we conceived of before we decided that, right? So yes, it could probably totally be, agree. Not I think a, it can be refactored, perhaps. Not a criticism of anybody. No, no, no. But I think yeah. it, I think to your point though, it can be refactored into a, maybe a couple of metrics models that serve yeah. specific aims. So I mean, just if we if you were to take a look at this or kind of reflect on yourself, you know, your own personal um, like approach towards welcoming this. Are there things in here that you kind of look at and you're like, why does, for example, licenses declared? No, I would like, if I was to factor things out, I think there's a collection of things that are really more risk oriented than they are welcome and oriented. In fact, licensing and stability, I think both of those, I would maybe look at as an introductory risk model or a starter risk metric model. Yeah, I think it's more related to the OSPOR people who mm-hmm. select uh, some software to be used in their own industry mm-hmm. or, or okay. business software. So license and the stability is quite important for them to, to choose a, a, a open source software. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. Hey, that's a great comment. Thank you. I do also remember when we were doing the, that research that licensing was brought up um, as a reason people do leave communities. So, um, or join communities if it's got a really, you know, strict license, then people will not join. So, it, even though it doesn't seem like that kind of fits in with welcoming this, I think it, it kind of does. No, I know. You're, you're right. True. Um, True. Maybe we could have like a, because I think that's a narrower case than some of the massive license scanning work that we do under licensing. We're looking at file level declarations. I think, I think that, am I right that that issue, Elizabeth, would be really more around the, the project level declared license yeah yeah okay so i mean i think i think we could leave the project level declared license in there and i think we have a metric for that actually we have metrics for all these yeah so which one declared that one yeah keep declared and yeah not, license we don't declared. necessarily care about how much is license how much is covered at this coverage yeah coverage doesn't matter i agree with elizabeth makes a really good point about license declared um i mean what about even from stability like things like elephant factor and bus factor they can be indicators that you know one person is doing 50 percent of the contributions or one company is kind of doing 50 mm-hmm. percent of the contributions that it may not be the most like awesome i think uh... For the bus factor is more relevant uh, re- relevant to the to this community who uh, which is uh, is organized uh, by more individual people instead of the organizations or, or companies. But the elephant factor is more about uh, the multiple organizations join this 
uh, uh, these communities. Uh, similar, but uh, they have the different uh, things. Do you think that they're indicators of welcomingness? If you see a bus factor of one, does that bother I, you? You know. Actually, I, I actually it's it, uh, it based on me. the different uh, <laughs> context. I mean, a context of the of this uh, community. Uh, for for my for 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 my understanding, it's these two metrics in this. If we consider as a matrix model, these two metrics should be considered as one. To tell them, okay, if if your contact if your context of the community is a sync, it's an individual one, or it's a uh, multiple organizations, okay. you should uh, consider separately. Okay, so okay, um, any what else in here? Code of conduct. You think that's a good one? Inclusive leadership, good one. Mm -hmm. um, issue age, response times seem pretty good. To me, uh -huh. they seem. So question for me for this metrics model, actually, um, we didn't have a th the exactly exact definition how to how to calculate this metrics. Maybe they we can give them an example. Uh, uh, for for example, the code of conduct. Yeah. Uh, sh they should uh, you know um, show their code of conduct in the GitHub or the uh, on the on the on, on their website. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's one metric we can we, we can take a measure on that. Otherwise, this is just the definition of metric. Oops. Yeah. Pointing to the wrong one, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I think code of conduct belongs. So, but your point, Yahoo, is like how to like some guidance on measurement of these. Yeah, uh, we, we could do it like we. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was just gonna say we we could do it like we do the badging where um, we have a, a list of things that they check off like yes it's published yes it's um you know we enforce it yes we have someone people can contact if there's a problem like we train people like there are things that they can do around that code of conduct so it could be maybe like a percent of like how many of those things xyz are you doing or it could just be like yeah we have one yes mm -hmm. you get a one uh, if you don't you get a zero you know yep. very simple so i think you could do it a couple of ways yeah so, yeah, I agree. Okay. This I is agree. good. Uh, also, I would like to ask okay. where will it be a final score that uh, aggregates all these metrics in this model, like a uh, uh, community service model? Sure. Uh, developed in Compass. so i don't have a great answer for that <laughs> like how we would determine a score i i, I think i think um, not all the matrix model is suitable for for get a final score um, actually okay. uh, at least for now i think i think the presence of a code of conduct is a boolean it's it's true or false and if it's true it just it sort of signals intention to care mm -hmm. more than anything yeah so we, I think the final score uh, is um, is important, but it's not uh, mandatory for 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 all the metrics model. Uh, uh, the more uh, meaningful, uh, the the most meaningful things in metrics model actually should be the the side of metrics to tell us the user story behind it. So people could understand how to use this couple of uh, metrics to to uh, to say some uh, um, you know meaningful things like uh, the the descriptions the, in in the user stories, and uh, if we declared um, clearly, so it would be helpful for now, and maybe in the future we have more good ways to define or get uh, some final skull uh, definition 
too suitable for all the metrics model, but we can leave it long, leave it now for now at least. That's, I think that's fair. Listening to you talk, I had a, a, a question that I'll probably get a no on, but what if we, on the metrics models that we are currently developing, we get rid of the qualitative measures and we simply focus on, for the time being, metrics that can be determined from trace data and things like code of conduct and inclusive leadership are included in other metrics models like um, project badging. Yeah, and inclusive leadership is qualitative. Code of conduct, I think you can treat as a binary. But I mean, I'm if we, if also fine it, leaving I, it out. I'm just, it was just a thought. I'm just, no, then, I think that's not a bad thought. I was just- And then down the road, we just simply, we, we just say like the, the metric that we could include would be like, a project badge you know what i mean something that we could identify how, how important from. do you think code of conduct is for welcomingness i mean i think it's pretty important not gonna lie but like to sean's point you could do a check on at least on github if that file exists like that would be in an api i mean you could grab that right yeah yeah absolutely we could so tell it, it would really just be inclusive leadership i think is the only one that's purely qualitative, where mm -hmm. you can't do it with trace data alone. So uh, can we quantify the inclusive leadership? Maybe if we look at the metric and uh, find the ways and we can have it a quantitative aspect. I think, well, I mean, I know philosophically the DEI working group decided not to try to quantify everything. Yeah. So I, I think there might but, be like a philosophical disagreement about that. I mean, if you, that. yeah, if they've done a survey and they have a number they could put in, mm -hmm. then yeah, there's a number there. But so what uh, if, is it necessary that we use the metric in the entirety in the model? We can like uh, take a measure of quantifiable measure and fit it in the model. Still, we are using the metric. I just my only my my thought was Vinod was just like yes we could do that but that does shift a little bit of that burden to the community to provide that information and so versus the other sets that we have here they're just they're available without any community lift really right but like uh, I, I see this as a very important factor uh, in this model. That is why I'm like hesitant to remove this because this is really a important factor to determine the community of welcomingness. Okay. I mean, I think- Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead, Elizabeth. I was just gonna say, maybe we could have a different section of like other metrics to be considered that, you know, we, we mention it, but we don't include it in the, yes part of it yeah maybe... even even just just mentioning it somewhere and not uh, if you don't have a calculation or a qualitative aspect that's fine just mentioning it for the user so that they can be aware of it mm -hmm. okay point taken that's good yeah, that's a, I like that suggestion it kind of solves both problems lets us have it both ways Okay. And then the last one is new contributors. I don't know what people's thoughts are on that. As a... I'm curious what Elizabeth thinks. <laughs> um, oh, oh, my God. I, I, sorry, my dog is barking. Oh, um, do that. Come on. What, who doesn't have control over their dogs? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's really good at keeping the, the bad guys away, I guess, because we've never had a problem. So she just keeps <laughs> um, uh, I have mixed feelings about this because I think it can be an indicator. If you have had no new contributors in a year, then maybe there maybe that's an indication that something is amiss. Well, yeah. So, yeah, I would say. Um, and if we can grab it, it looks like we can because you're just 
getting a number. Yeah, it's not hard to get data. So uh, maybe, yeah. What's your hesitation like to include it? Like just because like, we have so many. Yeah, I think model it's, is would be the only thing, but. I mean, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I can see the argument too that just because there's a bunch of new contributors doesn't mean the community's that welcoming. But yeah, they may not stick around. So maybe there's okay. I mean, okay. The, well, certainly, the drive-by ratio would be a useful alternate metric in that case. I think um, even just this conversation has helped me a little bit because I think there's things like test coverage and probably CII best practice. But there's like I can already see like probably five that may kind of go to the sideline a little bit. Um, so what I'll do is I'll bring this back to everybody and um, that would be great. All right, so that's the next one that I think we're working on. Does anybody have um, have an interest in taking a look at community fatigue just maybe before the next meeting? Or is there a metric model that somebody might be interested in kind of helping advance at this point? I, mean, I could take a pass at finishing the editing and community welcome list. Oh, I was going to do that, but All right, that's fine. I mean, I can I can do a different one. Community fatigue, I don't have my head around very well, but I could uh, take a shot. Everybody's just getting tired. <laughs> I think is basically what that yeah. is. No, I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a good an Apple Watch app, and um, I mean, well, I think it's interesting. Like, is. we have burnout, and we have time to first response. You know, like if these all start extending, <laughs> like maybe that would be an, an interesting indicator. Fatigue, perhaps, as an umbrella. Yeah. So anyway, maybe you could take a look. Yeah, at I'll that. take a look at community fatigue. I'll put that in the bucket. Okay. Um, this is a question as an aside regarding those all those links in that one, Matt, I think we talked about this putting that page ID in the spreadsheet. So that if you are building something and you want to include a link. Oh, you would yes, have right there. Yeah, oh, it is right there. <laughs> I did not even see that gigantic column. Ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> What in the world? Is that on there? It is. It's on every page. Yeah. What do you know? Hey, all right. I look at all these things you're asking for and they're getting done. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just don't know what's going on, really. That's question. <laughs> all right. Cool. Um, let's see. I'm going to come back to this. Um, I, I did want to just point out for people as well. We're kind of wrapping up here in time. Um, there was this. There was this Ospology Live session, and here are some notes that were taken from it. I was going to, I really haven't had a chance to do this yet, but um, there are some interesting, perhaps, questions in here. So around activity, release cadence, dependencies, I'm just, I'm going to take a look at what came up on this session from Ospology Live and see if it relates to any metrics models that we already have published or if it would result in new models. It's make me think of the uh, project of where companies, that metrics model, it's similarly like this uh, uh, goal one adopting a healthy OSI. Yeah. Should we, yeah, sh um, I, I mean, should we create a new one or we can just uh, refactor our existing metrics model to to adapt a more context this one is what you're talking about welcoming this yeah yeah and trying to let me that's a fair question let me take a look I like I said I haven't looked at this in enough detail to try to map it back to this but let me do that Yehui. that's a good idea and see if the information yep. there can apply yeah I think it's really good input for us and uh, yeah uh we can work on that to adapt them to make it adaption. Oops. Okay, great. Um, before I get to the last point, I just wanted to, to re-emphasize for people the common working group. So I'll put it in here. 
is a working group that meets that's not a convenient time for all of you in China. But the common working group is um, going to be we're meeting this Thursday and we're shifting our focus just a little bit to be the working group that is responsible for publishing or at least starting to publish the metrics that aren't already published in the metrics models. So we needed to find a home where we could get this done. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, um, like CI build time yeah. is, is a metric that has, I think, shown up in, you know, whatever, three or four different metrics models. And it's not mm -hmm. a metric that exists and needs to be built. I, mean, I can create CI build time. Yep. And so I deal with that all the time. <laughs> yeah, so Common is going to take on at least building this metric from a preliminary perspective, and it's then a document we can bring back to the metrics model working group where it originated and say, here's what we kind of think it looks like, and in this meeting, then we can help refine it. And then the Common working group will be responsible for publishing it, making sure that it is like in a spreadsheet in an appropriate place. But the metrics model doesn't really need to be responsible for building those metrics in common. It's going to start doing this for, for everybody. Mm -hmm. I think it's really good. Yeah, Elizabeth and I have talked about this quite a bit, just in terms of how to get this coordination done. And we're hoping this works the best. I because I see Dawn have already defined some new metrics uh, from, from that um, uh, new metrics model. And yeah. uh, I, I see the similar collaboration between the different people on the same doc. Yeah, uh, I mean, the definition doc, it's it's fair and convenient way. Uh, I, I could accept this way. Great. Yeah. Um, and we had tried to, we had tried the approach of like placing an issue inside of the respective working group to have the working uh -huh. group develop the metric and that didn't work. <laughs> the issue just got got created and then just sat there and so we're going to have a, a a more dedicated group of people to build these metrics sure yep That's okay right. um and then maybe the last thing i just before we head out you know we do have this to do chaos working group meeting i just want i'm wondering and maybe we can continue this on on slack i'd really like to get input from this group as to to you know, what would we like to see from that collaboration? Are we hoping to have the members of that conversation kind of verbalize new metric models that they would like to see? Um, are we hoping? I you know I don't know. Is there so the well, I went to the ASPO meeting in Stockholm in October. Yep. One of the things that really came forward was a lot of ASPOs, at least in that meeting are overwhelmed by the amount of data that they're asked to consume. And so I think metrics models help to solve that problem. Okay. And I, I think it's, I think getting some of the folks who are on that call from OSPOs to open up about how they're overwhelmed could be one path to refining chaos metrics and metrics models and the tools around those to meet the needs. Like, I think it's a real opportunity to know what needs to be met. What okay. Needs, needs to be that. Okay, great. I wonder I wanna clarif clarify that to, to to do chaos working group, it's a, our uh ospology working group or it's a so the obviously you know the to-do group. And so this is a working yeah. group that's just focused on helping the members of the to-do group think through metrics and metrics models. So it's it's uh -huh. more specific. It's a very specific aim within the to-do group okay it's another new working group right uh, yeah so we this was the value working group and we just converted it so basically I, I know we're over time but let me explain this real fast so one of the things that we're doing in the chaos project is we're finding that there's a need for people say from open source program offices in corporations to talk amongst themselves around the metrics the data and the metrics models that they would like to see. Right. Yeah, I, I, I guess I know the background about it. I just want to declare that the to do chaos working group is the, is the working group uh, OSPO and that's defined in our uh, chaos already. Oh, yeah, right? exactly. Yes. Okay. Just, yes. It's yeah, not I'm sorry. I should probably be there. 
I, I think I think we create a, another new to do. No, sorry. <laughs> my, my, sorry. Just, it's, not something, it's not impossible, but we didn't do it this time. <laughs> sorry. Sorry for the confusion. No. Okay. Yeah, we don't we don't okay. need more working groups at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we need more meetings, I think. I would love right. that. I'm feeling <laughs> without the meetings. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna can I, I'm gonna if it's okay I'm gonna to open this question also in Slack because I we really have an opportunity to kind of help build models and deploy models that are highly relevant to sure. to OSPO managers and I think it's important for us to, to Sean's point I really like what you talked about Sean like what are the ways that we can talk about this in the the OSPO working group that can kind of elicit what those models can be. You know what I mean? So I, yes. I really, I really like that. And if we have another meeting with the OSPO working group next week, and if we could kind of figure out a couple of ways to to kind of prime that conversation, that would be awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, we can got a lot, lot of input and thoughts from the uh, from the OSPO working group, and uh, we can we can give them uh, some solutions on how to define it by our metrics and how to implement it. Okay. Uh, if uh, with the tools, yes. it, it's going to be helpful. Yeah. I think so too. Okay, so that's that. Um, great. We're at the end of time, everybody. Right. To see you right. all, and our next meeting is going to be February twenty eighth. Still Wednesday. Going to be something. No, we're changing it. Yeah, we're changing the time. So <laughs> yeah, all right. You all yeah. don't have to wake up so early and take a taxi to <laughs> to wherever you are. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Well, all right. it's great to see everybody. Good to see, see you all. Okay. See you in a couple Bye. weeks. Bye. Bye, you all. Bye-bye.